Hello everyone and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I am gonna show you how to generate a QR code. Now, I generated this QR code in preparation for Meet the Teacher that is right around the corner for a lot of teachers here in the Houston area. Now, last week I did a full series on back to school project ideas for teachers and students, and I wanted to fit this one in and I didn't, but I made time to do it today and I can't wait to share this process with you. This tutorial is jam packed with plenty of good information but as you know i am going to share my full process with you step by step now normally i ask you at the end of the video if you found it helpful to consider liking the video subscribing to my channel and turning on the bell for notifications because i do upload new content every single week but this time i'm also going to ask you to share this project idea with a teacher who might find this helpful also so let me show you how this works so this is what the qr code looks like what i'm going to do is open the camera app on my phone and we shall see what it's going to look like so i'm going to just go to the camera app right here on my phone you see my camera right you see my camera app and what i'm going to do is scan the qr code with my camera app i can see that a web address popped up and what should happen is you should see the all about their your teacher well your meet the teacher file that i created in this tutorial so this is what pops up this would be super useful for parents and anyone who's going to be visiting your classroom on meet the teacher night now without further ado let's look at the materials you'll need in order to complete this project after materials we'll go over to canva and i will show you how to just fill in this template after Canva, we will go to QR code generator, then into Cricut Design Space. So there are some steps. I'm gonna show you the full process. You ready? Let's get started. The materials I'm gonna use for this project include Ava vinyl sticker paper that I purchased from Amazon. I am going to use one stand and one acrylic blank that came in this package from Amazon. I'm going to use my pen pen weeding tool, my green standard grip mat, my Cricut Explore Air 2, and my Canon MX472 printer. Okay, let's head on over to Canva. The first thing I'm going to do is go over to canva.com and the, what I'll do is click on the option for templates. And I'm only going to use the free features within canva i'm not going to use any of the paid features i'm going to look for um, a template for meet the teacher okay so i can see that there are a lot of options for meet the teacher and i am going to click on one that stands out to me or one that i think i might want to use okay i'm going to look for something simple and something that will not require a lot of time or effort uh, but something that is bright and colorful okay so i can scroll down and i can see that there are a lot of options okay so let's just say i want to use Okay, this one right here, it tells me that this one requires a pro account, so I can't use that one. Okay, so when I'm looking at this one, it doesn't show me that it requires a pro account, but I don't like one like that one that much. Okay, I think I like this one. Okay, and I am going to click on customize this template. Okay, and so right here is where I can start to make it my own okay so you know let's just say i don't want it to be purple because you know if you know me if you or if you follow me for any length of time you know that purple is not really you know my favorite color i really prefer red in most things so let's just say i want to go with a red you know i want to just customize this so the color scheme is red so let me just change these background colors to offer some red. And let me change this one up a little. Ooh, that's a lot of red. A little bit too much red. 
I'll offset it a little bit by adding some, let's see. I like that blue. I kind of like that. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just start to format this or change this up to make it match me, right? So one thing I need to do is upload a picture. So I can go to my uploads and I already have several pictures uploaded here in Canva. But you would, if you don't have any, if you haven't ever used Canva at all, the first thing you would need to do is upload a picture of yourself. So right here where it says uploads, I'm looking through my uploads, but if you haven't ever done that, you would click upload and then you would upload a file that you want to use. Okay, but I am going to find a photo of myself that I pretty much use on everything when I'm using YouTube. So I want to use, let's say I want to use this one right here. Okay. So all I did was hover that picture over the picture that was already there and it replaced it. Okay. And so where it says meet your teacher um, and down, down, I can change this. I can make this bigger if I wanted to. Let's say I want to make that a little bit bigger, not that big. Okay. And I can move this up if I want to. I can, you know, I can change the color of this to white. I just by double clicking on it, I can say, you know, I want that to be in white letters. I like that. And right here I can type my name or I can say, welcome to the, you know, 2022-23 school year. Um, I can, let's say, I want to type my name. I'm going to say cricketing with Delanda. Now, if you were making this for yourself, of course you would type, you know, Mrs. Jones or Mrs. Jackson or Mrs. Smith or whatever your name is. That's like, that might be something that you might type there, or you could type whatever you want, or you can just leave it just the way that it was. Okay. I kind of want it like that. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And I definitely want to, let me change the color of this to white okay and what I'm in order to select the text all I'm doing is double clicking on it I want to double click on this one also to change it to white okay and now let me preface this by saying I am not you know a Canva expert but Canva is fairly easy to use so I'm using this without you know, professional knowledge of how to do it. Okay. So right here, it says, hello students. I can keep it just like this if I want to, or I can change it up a little bit. So right here where it says, hello students, I might say something like, I am so excited to meet you and your family. I am eager to teach you, teach you everything I know about cricket okay but yours might say I'm eager to teach you everything I know about math or I'm eager to teach you everything I know about reading or whatever okay and I you know I would want this to be bold probably I might not change the font I'll keep it just like that I am looking forward to I might keep it just like that. Fun learning experiences full of curiosity, exploration, and inquiry. You might leave it just like that, or you might change it. You might say, I'm looking forward to getting to know you. And helping you grow. Okay. And right here, three facts about me. I have a dog named Milo. Um, I love to travel. I might also say I love the Houston Rockets. Or you might say, you know, I've been working at this school for five years. This is my first year teaching. Or you might say, you know, I, my favorite subject is math. Okay. So whatever you want to put right there. All right. So right here, if I were making this for myself and I was a teacher in the classroom, I might change this to, 
um, contact information. Okay, and I might add, you know, my email address. So let me make this a little bit bigger. So this might have, you know, whatever my email address is, Miss Teacher at, you know, Yahoo. I'll just say Miss Teacher at mail.com. I'll make this a little bit bigger so it fits. And I could say my phone number is, you know, 713-777-9311. And, you know, I might include, let me move that, let me move this number right here. Let me delete that number. And I definitely want to make this bigger. I want them to be able to see my phone number. I'll make that bold. And let me move this because this number is still here. Let me delete that. And move this back over. And make that bigger also. Just by bolding it a little bit. I don't want it to be too big and let me delete this three and right here I might say uh, my planning period is from one o'clock to 145 yeah okay so that helps parents to know, you know, the best time to reach you and how to reach you. OK, so that is very important information for a parent. OK, and so I'm just doing this to show you options. But of course, you know, you will make this your own. You would make this fit your needs uh, for your classroom and for your students or for a template that you already have at your school. Um, and right here, uh, let's see. You might have the address of the school. So it might be, you know, ABC school. And it might be the school's website or the address to the school. So it might be one, two, three, four, um, bridge lane, um, Houston, Texas, seven, seven, four, seven, seven. Okay. All right. So, you know, I can move that up and I might, I would probably change the color of this to white um, just so that it doesn't clash too much. And I will leave it just like that. Okay. So now you're going to meet your teacher. Your teacher's name is Cricketing with Delanda. You know, you know a little bit about your teacher um, and, you know, you will be changing this up to however you need it. And then what you would do is you know save it right here meet your teacher and i am going to click share and i am going to download this okay i'm gonna click download and if you're looking at my screen you can see that it's downloading right here and it will download right here on the left at the bottom left of my screen It's downloaded. So now that I have it downloaded, the next thing that I'll do is go to a website that is called QR code dash monkey. After you have the file downloaded, um, I suggest downloading it to your desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop to show you where mine is located. So I have it right here on the desktop. I'm going to right click on that file and I'm going to click on this option that I have right here. Now I am using a Windows laptop. I'm not sure what this looks like on a Mac or an iPad or any other device, but on a Windows desktop, I have this option to share it. So I'm going to click on the option to share it and I get the option to have a link. So I am going to click copy and I can see that anyone who has this link can edit or I can change that. 
I don't want anyone to edit this, but I do want um, others who have this link to be able to view it. So I'm going to uncheck this option. So if someone is viewing this or they have this link, all they can do is view it. Okay, so I'm going to click copy. And I'm going to go back to and I'm going to go back to the QR code dash monkey dot com website and I am going to remove this URL right here just by deleting it and I am going to do control V in order to paste that link that I just copied and I'm going to hit enter and that will generate a QR code for me now I can keep it just like this I don't have to change it at all or I can choose this option to set the colors now if i want the colors to match the document i can change the colors to red of course you know i like the color red i might want to change it to red and i can add a logo which i'm not or i can even customize this this design which i'm also not going to do i can change these iframe shapes at the bottom so if i don't want them to be squares i can change it to this you know this shape right here and i can change any of these parts of the qr code that i want to so let's just say i want to change it to red which i've done and i want to change this shape of this image right here this square i want to change it to this more rounded image right here i can do that now what i'll do is click generate qr code you're going to see that it's going to change to red and it changed the shape of those squares now now that I have it exactly how I want it, the next thing I'm going to do is click download PNG. Okay, it says your QR code is being generated. Please do not refresh or close the window. Okay, I'm not going to refresh or close the window. And now my QR code has been generated. It's right here at the bottom of my screen on the left. Now what I'm going to do is go over to Cricut Design Space and I am going to modify this just a little bit so that it matches the size of the acrylic that I have. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Explore Air 2. The first thing I'm going to do is grab a shape. I'm going to grab a square and resize it to match the size of the acrylic. I'm going to unlock it right here and change the width to four and change the height to six. And then I'm going to change the color of this to white. The next thing I'm going to do is bring the view down on my screen just a little bit and just put my acrylic template right here um, on the four and two axis. And then the next thing I'm going to do is upload the QR code that I just download it and I'm going to add it to my canvas and I'm going to bring the size of the QR code down so that it fits nicely on the template right here and I, I like it just like that and the next thing I'm going to do let me bring it down just a little bit more I think that's much better and the next thing I'm going to do is go over to images and just see what their the options are in Cricut Design Space for welcome back to school and see if there are any that really stand out to me. I kind of like this one right here with the books. I kind of like that one, but let me see what other options there are. I also like this with the pencil. I think that's nice. Um, I wanted to say welcome. I like that one, but it doesn't say welcome. We want the students to feel welcome coming back to school. Okay, so far, let me see if I can find one that says welcome to the classroom. Welcome back. I like this one. That one is really nice. Welcome back, back to school. Summer is over. Okay, I like this one right here. This one was shared by Diva Watts Designs. I like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do, okay, I can see that this is a layered file. 
and I am going to make this smaller. Let me bring my view down. Um, bring the view down, bring that size of that file down also. And I want it to fit there nicely. Okay. I like it. I like it just like this. And so what I'll do is select over the whole thing and I will flatten this. And now what I'll do is I'll get this um, printed, then cut. So I am ready to click make it. Okay. And this is what my file will look like. So I know that this is a print then cut image. So I'm going to click continue and I am going to send this to my printer. The printer that I'm going to send this to is my Canon MX470 printer. And I will get it connected and everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. The printer that I'm connected to is my Canon MX470. It's a MX472. The paper that I'm using is Ava vinyl sticker paper. I don't have any paper in my paper tray. I am going to put one sheet of paper in here face down. So the glossy side of the paper is face down. And I have chosen um, print quality high. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to get this printed out and I will speed this part up. I have my image printed out and what I'm going to do is load it onto the Cricut mat in the exact same position that it was in in Cricut Design Space. And I will let my Cricut Explore Air 2, cut it out. So that's what it looks like. And the setting that I'm using to cut this is infusible ink transfer sheet. I'm going to click the flashing C and I'll get this cut out. These acrylic pieces came with a clear plastic coating on top. So I'm just going to use my weeding tool to remove that. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just using the corner of my, using the weeding tool to remove it. And I'm going to remove it from both sides. And as you can see now, it's just a clear acrylic um, rectangle, which is awesome. It's beautiful, I love it. So I'm gonna put it down, I guess I'll just put it down here on top of this mat. And I will also use my pen pen weeding tool to remove, um, let me just put it here for one second. Cause I don't, need any of this so that was an excellent cut and i will just remove it from here like this and this is just a sticker so this is an example of print then cut let me kind of bring that down some so you can see the whole thing look how beautiful that is and i will carefully very very carefully apply this so that it is on here straight and that it looks nice. And that I don't have any bubbles or anything like that. And that is that. Now these acrylics did come with a little base, okay? So the base just looks like this. This also looks like it has plastic on it, it does. Okay, I'm gonna remove that plastic from, let me see if it's on both sides, yes. Oh, that looks even nicer. 
than it did before. All right. And I can let me see, it looks like it's a little bit longer. Oh, and so I the way that I cut this, it's a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna fold it over instead of cutting it off. If that bothers you, just cut it off. I'm just gonna fold it over. Prefer to do that. I think that looks amazing. Let's see. Let's see. All right, now what I'm going to do is scan it. <laughs> I am in love with this. I. You already know, if you've been with me for any length of time, you already know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say I love it. I am going to say I love it. So I'm going to scan this with my other phone. And what should happen is that my document should open. So I'm going to go to the camera app from my other phone. And I am going to scan this. Let's see. Let's see if it opens up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's thinking about it. There it is. There is my document. And that is what my parents would have if I'm in a classroom and they want to meet the teacher. So I can see everything. I can see all of the information that I typed, ABC school, my phone number, 777-9311. Some of you will catch that. Um, but hopefully, if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Bye!